What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright folks, you heard the intro, so uh, you know who this is, and uh, first of all I'd like to apologize for the air conditioner in the back, it's 185 degrees, we've got little Pomeranians exploding, little Jack Russells exploding in this heat, so where I'm at, so uh, excuse the air conditioner, if not, I mean, what do you want me to do? I'm not going to explode, today I'm going to talk about something like this right here, I want to talk about, I want to talk about the nerve of these fat chicks. These fat chicks are the biggest fat shamers you'd ever see in your life. And I'm gonna explain to you why because some of the, some of the decisions and some of the shit that they say on 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 uh, their personal choices when they talk to you, you're looking at them like, wait a minute. If I say that to you, I'm a fat shamer, but if you can say that to somebody else, it's okay. It's the nerve of these fat bitches, man. They got me, they got me fucked up, so. I'm about to go in, and as always, you know, we are, as a group, and what you should be, you should be this, right here, you should be make toe, leave these, leave these chicks, let them do their thing, they want to be all feminist and all this and that, let them go, well let me back to these, let me, let me go back to these fucking, these, these, these no good fat bitches, now here's the problem I have, they're big on fat shaming, this and that, and uh, you're, I'm not fat, I'm thick, which I'm which I'm worried to have ruined, which I'll talk about some other time. But what kills me is, the fat chicks are the biggest fat shamers. So here's what they tell you, and you and you all know this to be true. They all want a guy to be six foot two or taller. They want him to be brown, dark, any color, like, like a shade of brown. They want him to be muscular. They want him to be in shape, which will go if you're muscular, you're in shape. And they want him to have this, that, and the third. Okay. No problem with that. That's what you want. But when I tell these fat motherfuckers that, I'm fat shaming. They're saying, oh, wait a minute. You're, you're, you're shaming. Oh, you're, 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 you're being anti-fat. I'm not fat other than they run their fucking mouth left and right. Let me tell you something. These, these bitches are hypocritical. And the bad part about it, you always got a couple of simps. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 he is. Yeah, yeah, he is. You want to know why they're like that? They're thinking that you're going to fly your fat ass out from from Seattle. That you're going to fly yourself to Tampa and he's going to get to sleep with you. And, and, and let, let me tell you guys something. You simps, this is the general rule overall. There's a lot of chicks that you're trying to sweat, that you're trying to trying to fuck, that you're trying to fly your way. Why do you think they're single in real life, where they live, and they're and they're decent looking? Think about that before your simpery gets out of control. I mean, it's out of control already, but think about that. If they're good looking, why are they still single? I'm sure in their city, there's some guy that would, you know, there's something going on here. But yet, you're stupid enough to try to think that you're going to save her. You can't save him, bruh. Now, back to these hypocr hypocritical fat fucks. I got into it the other day on Facebook. Well, I didn't. Chick asked, she asked, you know, I was asking guys, you know, do you, would you ask the chick over 200 pounds? And I said, you know, my, my point was, she, she, how tall was she? So like 6'4"? You know, I ain't dealing with no fat chick, no. And then she, you know, I left it at that. And another guy said, well, I can't deal with no way chick either. So this one chick, she, apparently she's the, the, the fat chick saver. You know, she's the fat chick. She came out of the woodwork talking about, well, don't knock it until you, you know the usual shit they say. Don't knock it till you try it. 
If it's too loose, you gotta keep it tight, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, number one, that's no problem. I said, I don't want my fat chick because if I work out, how am I, why, am I, why am I working out to be with somebody who doesn't work out and out of shape? I said, that's the case. I want to start right now and be like you and blow up. I said, nothing personal. This, this, I said, and I even said, let it go. I got this goddamn Gettysburg address. And then she put, she's, she's, we're thicker in those parts. And just because we're fat, we're not, that doesn't mean we're unhealthy. I said, first of all, that's a myth. Now, guys, if they use this on you, that's a big ass myth. It's been dispelled by medical reports. Being fat is not the same as being healthy. I don't know who tries to tell you these people this shit, but it's not. Being fat, you're not healthy. Look, we're all, if you, if we're all unhealthy in some way, probably. As you get older, you become unhealthy. But if you're obese and fat, you have a greater chance of not being healthy. That's just the facts of life. And then they say, well, my bones are thicker. No, your bones are not thicker. Your fat is larger and fluffier. And then they say, well, I'm just, I'm just a little thicker than most. Bullshit. Thick women have tight skin. Thick women do not have waves in their legs in the back. You know what I'm saying? Looks like cottage cheese. Thick women don't have that. Thick women are damn near like a muscular chick with tight skin. Thick chicks aren't wearing waist trainers like you guys are doing. And, and yeah, and here, here's, here's an update for you fucking simps out there. Here's what these chicks do to make it look like. How you think? Look, look at their. Here's a, here's a dead giveaway to tell a fat chick's fat. Look at her legs. The legs are a dead giveaway. Now you're saying, well, she has a, she has a slim waist. What do you think a fuck a, a waist trainer is? Because when that waist trainer comes off, there ain't really nothing too pretty. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's why, like I said, look, if you like who you like, I give two fucks regardless. But I hate when these fat chicks get on their high horse. I'm like, wait a minute. If I say what you said, I'm fucked up. I'm like, get out of here. And then, like, it's the back to the conversation I had with this chick. She sat there for, like, a good 45 minutes trying to convince me. I said, it ain't happening. And then, like, the usual camaraderie of, you know, simps started falling through. Well, anybody that says that they, they wouldn't be able to kick over 200 pounds is a longer period. Look, if you like fat chicks, that's your thing. Don't put me in your category because I... Look, look here's the problem on Facebook. Facebook... People on Facebook don't understand. Uh, some of us live real lives. And some of us have what we call options, fuckers. You don't have an option. If that's who you have to sleep with, I'm not knocking it. But some of us have what we call options. Look the word up on Google. Google is your friend. And uh, the, 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 simp, the simps were like, all oh, get mad at me. Then I said, I said, look, I said, your, your problem is your old lady's probably over 200 pounds. And you probably got to go, you probably pumped out a few puppies with her and you're stuck with her. So you got to say this shit. I said, look, all my kids are grown. I said, I don't care if my kids are grown. I tell my, I would tell my exes, hey, look, you're getting a little fat there. Let's, let's, let's shape it up. No, they ain't no problem saying that. If they can, if, if you can hang in the bar all day, you can surely walk for 30 fucking minutes. And that's the problem. And then, then I, like, at the end of the conversation, I just kept telling the chick, look, I said, I'm not making it personal. You're making it personal because you don't like what I'm saying. I said, I could easily go in on you. I said, but I'm not going in because I don't have to do that. I said, I'm just kicking, I'm just kicking facts. And facts are something that you can't get mad at me about. I said, I can see why I was making personal attacks. But you're over here making personal attacks on me. And I'm, and I'm, I'm, not, doing, I'm not making personal attacks back because I don't have to. I said, that just shows you your, your classless ass. I said, I said, are you big? Yeah. I said, I, I, haven't, I said, I haven't called you fat because I know you're going to you're gonna have, have, have a hissy fit. I said, I skirted around the issue. But sooner or later, you got to wake up to the realization that you're fat. You call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. Thick. You're smoking crack if you don't think you're not fat. Look, there was a period of time when I was younger, I was fat. Did I like it? No, what I do, I do something about it. And that's the problem with a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all think, uh, and this is women, I still know this with a lot of women in general. A lot of y'all are just fucking delusional. 
You think that a guy's supposed to take you no matter how much you not know what you look like. Now, a lot of you, like, rate, may retain a little bit of your form, but you're starting to get a gut. And I'm like, pass. And y'all think that shit's sexy. Shit's not sexy. That shit is sexy to a guy who has, again, back to what I said, options. My options, I don't have to accept that. That's, I'm talking to chicks, you know, that are entering fitness competitions and and winning and you know, entering period just to, like, they feel good. I said, I have options. I do not want a chick who, and, and you, you deranged fucking 40 and up chicks are killing me because y'all think you're still sexy. And you know why you think you're still sexy? Because scrubs are co-signing you. You're not getting no top-notch dude that has, like, options co-signing you. You're getting some, you're getting some scrubs co-signing you. And then if that's the case, you're still single. So that's my, that's my little talk here for today. So I'm going to get out of here because, like I said, I wasted half my day sleeping. The other half of the day I wasted because I just, I just, I, that, 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 this conversation with that fat chick just kind of pissed me off. So, all right, peace. For this and many other videos, check out my page. I'm sure you'll like it from internationals to MGTOW. Check out my page. Out of focus.